everybody this is alessandro welcome back to my channel today i want to share an advice that i give to one of my students during his 101 for uh, his blocking plus and i wanted to share this one with you as well so basically here we are looking at blocking plus progress and one of the things that i mentioned to him is that all the spacing between each poses tend to look very very even right in the sense that from one post to another the number of key the way they are being spaced and the timing feels quite even and this is normally happened when uh, uh, you know the animator tend to stick a little bit too close to the reference rather than try to come up with his own timing and try to push it uh, and so here what i want to share with you is that how i use premiere to very quickly modify the timing and modify the spacing and then test out solution as fast as possible rather than going my and messed up with all those key so here for example is a section where where the character takes the ball and turn and i thought about it what about if you push up the speed about 150 percent right and as you can see right now it's a lot more dynamic where after he catches the ball it turned out very 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 quickly right so when I do that, obviously I'm going to try to find another position where I can adjust the timing as well. And I want to make sure I don't speed up things just all the time. All right, you may see me during this uh, section to speed up part and slow down other section as well. All right, for example, here, the middle part of this section here, I'm going to speed it up again around 130. All right, I see this bounce here. I want it to be really, really quick. Okay, but then the part what is going higher before the next action, I want to actually slow down here. And normally I try to slow down around 70% or 6 it's, it's up to you, right? Um, so right now what I'm doing, I'm creating more contrast and trying to find more easy in, uh, easy out. Again, as you can see, sometimes the always middle part of a motion, right? When it does this bounce and twist where I want to speed up. And, and then I have this other section where he's doing this big turn around to camera that in my opinion was way, way too slow, right? So again here, I want to speed up very quickly, right? And then it go into, started to blend into the run. I felt like it's speeding up, especially when things move to camera, you wanted to uh, move things quickly or at the start to feel very, very slow, right? Uh, and same stuff here, I did basically the same when I did a run uh, in order to um, to have an, a, a sense of acceleration, right? I wanted the run rather than just be even, I wanted to accelerate right before uh, the jump, okay? And one more thing that I want to, to mention, guys, keep in mind that those are just tests because as you can see, when Premiere speed up or slow down things on a clip that you select, it does everything linearly, right? And, but as I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial, you wanted to work more on the easy in, easy out, right? So not just move things linearly or else just look, look like you speed up the entire animation when you press fast forward, which is a very terrible feeling, actually. We don't want that. That's why you see me here doing smaller clip and speed up and slow down, speed up and slow down. And obviously... The sense here is that if I like what I'm seeing, if I think I'm going to the right direction, eventually I will go to Maya and, and try to mimic and obviously doing it better, um, uh, you know, directly in Maya. But only thing is that in Maya takes a lot longer, you need to select all the controller, you know, adjust the key. So doing these things in Premiere is actually a lot more, more efficient, all right? So here, guys, is another example where I basically told the animator that when he's actually shooting with the with the ball, right, rather than shooting mid uh, in middle at the beginning, as you can see, shooting as soon as it jumps, my thought here was, what about if you jump in the air by holding the anticipation, having the hang time more up in the air, and then do the throw during the lunch, right? And maybe when you do this one, your your character kind of react and get pushed back a little bit more right of course you can see in animation how much we want to push the direction but i felt like rather than throwing the the basketball as soon as go there he, this would have been more fun right and as i mentioned before this kind of stuff guys is is very cartoony right it's just a small demonstration to give 
the intent, right? If you follow my masterclass, you know that this technique can be very um, useful to do tests very, very quickly. And uh, I feel like this was a more interesting way to, to go. Just remember, the reference is there to help you and to guide you, but not for you just to copy what you're seeing there, right? Ideally, you should push things forward and make them more entertaining and more fun. Hope you enjoyed this short video, guys, and see you next time. Ciao.